Hi everyone. I wanted to take a minute and jump on and thank you so much for everything that you've done. All the all the incredibly generous contributions, um, all the kind words and um, encouraging calls and emails and texts and um, it's just been it's been overwhelming and together we've been able to directly directly help people in in the most terrifying time of their life um they've they've escaped a war an invasion and many of these people come over the border carrying everything they now have in a garbage bag and we've been able to meet them at at that point with what they need most and i just i I can't thank you enough. I thank you for trusting me. Um, I thank you for, for walking this journey with me. Together, we are making a difference in people's lives directly. And um, I, I, I can't think of a, a more important thing that we can do on this planet, um, given everything that's happening. So I wanted to say thank you. Uh, I wanted to um, ask you to please share my GoFundMe with friends and family. Um, my, my travel has long since been covered, so everything, uh, everything that comes in is going straight to refugees, and I, I will continue to do it as, as, long as, um, as long as the fund is going, so um, please, please help spread the word. We have a few pennies you can share. Every penny creates a ripple, and Enough ripples create a wave, and we're sending a wave of humanitarian love over to these people. Um, I wanted to just uh, list out some of the things that, that together we've been able to do to help people. We flew a family of seven, seven from Ukraine to Glasgow for their new home. We flew a family of nine Ukrainians from Krakow to Dublin. We got a hotel room in Warsaw for two moms and their daughters. They'd been traveling for five days and hadn't really slept and still had a few more days to go to get to their destination. And so we got them a hotel room in Warsaw so they could have a, a, a good night's sleep and a shower and, um, and rest. We uh, sent funds over to the Ukrainian fighter sewing circle. A group of Ukrainians are fighting, are sewing flak jackets for soldiers in Ukraine, because these soldiers are not just military soldiers. It's any male 18 and up is being called to fight. So it's college kids and dentists and people like you and I um, are being called to fight. So they don't have equipment, they don't have anything. Um, we also donated to a group that's getting medical, medical supplies into these, um, to these soldiers who are being injured in the field and there's nothing, nothing there for them. There's no mass unit. Alan Alda is not flying in. Um, and so, but these brave people are, are, are getting in and getting medical supplies to these soldiers. Um, we got a hotel and incidentals for a young mom. She doesn't look old enough to have kids, but she has two young kids. And we um, sent over funds so that she had a place to stay for a month and, um, and food and incidentals while she waits for her visa from the UK. And we just heard last night that her visa came through. So um, as soon as it's, it's official, we will get her and her two boys on a plane and send her over there. Um, we helped get a 22-year-old and her 12-year-old sister down to friends in Marseille. Her parents had sent them out of the country, and she was terrified and didn't want to leave Poland. But we promised her we'd fly her home. So we helped get her down to her friends in Marseille and, um, and where she can wait out the war. And as soon as it's over, we promised to fly her home right away. Um, we, uh, we helped a woman who's staying in the Ukraine. She has three kids and her oldest son is 19. So he's not allowed to leave the country. Um, and she didn't want to leave him alone. So uh, we sent her funds to help. She doesn't have a job. There's, there's nothing there. And um, so we sent her some funds to help, help get food and, and um, supplies for a month. So um, it's, and, and there's so many more in the pipeline. A lot of these people are waiting for visas and um, as soon as they are, we're gonna fly them to wherever, wherever they need to go. 
and just helping people, meeting them um, in the moment where they, with what they need the most. So it's just, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to do this. And I'm so grateful to all of you for making it possible. Together, we've helped so many people. We've helped, we've changed lives. And I can't think of a, a more important thing to do on this planet right now. Um, I wanted to share a, a note I received. Um, a very kind woman donated to my campaign and I don't know this person, but this is the note she sent me. I so believe or feel I must believe in the power of our human love over the ugly face of human hate. You're putting your belief in that same principle into action and I can't thank you enough. I'm a regular supporter of World Central Kitchen and so cool to see someone from California take the brave steps into the hurt to bring help. People like you help keep me from melting into a constant puddle of hurt and rage. So keep it up and I will keep supporting. Be well and safe. So I, um, I, I, I just wanna thank you all so much. It's, it's truly an honor. And um, I will be leaving in a little over a week and um, I will be reporting as, as often as I can and um, letting you see where, where your incredibly generous donations are going to help people. Um, so my ask of you is to share the love, spread the word, um, let friends and family know, um, share this wherever you can, because as long as the money is flowing in, we can keep helping um, the Ukrainian refugees, these people who've who had normal lives like you and I, and, and just had their world turned upside down. Um, over 5 million people have crossed over the border from Ukraine, and it's going to be a long time before they go back, if there's anything to go back to. So your help will, will, will go far and wide. And, um, and I just wanna thank you all so much. It's truly an honor. So um, the next time you hear from me, I will be in Poland. <laughs> And um, I will be bringing you updates from the kitchen and from the refugee center and from the border and um, every adventure I go on, I will bring you with me. So thank you so much. Um, it's, it's just amazing. Thank you.